I don't understand what a foul is in the NBA. Can you tell me what a foul is, Carl? Um, at the at nor like the, like don't think about anything like circumstances. What is a foul? When your own teammate hits you. No oh, damn. Because that's how that's an NBA playoff foul. I remember that from when uh, LeBron got fouled by Tristan Thompson. I remember that against the Warriors in game the finals. The finals. Yep. So that's what I qual. That's what I classify as your uh, your lowest tier of a foul. Mm-hmm. Anything worse than that is just like a worse foul. So you're saying that anything that happens to a superstar, no matter if it's on the same team or against them, it's a foul. Exactly. Are like, you know, my problem is I have a problem with superstar calls because it's like I don't believe in superstar calls. I feel like everybody should just be called evenly, or 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 give the superstars more more fouls. Hey, you know what? I agree with you, and I think that's what the point of having rules to a game and fouls uh, is supposed to do is make it so everyone is on an equal playing field. But exactly. These refs is stupid as hell. Like We've already had one instance in the NBA where there is a shady-ass ref. What's that fool? Like Donahue? Yeah, Tim, or Donna, Tim Donahue. Or yeah, he. so we already know that there's sketch sketch stuff going on in the NBA so yeah and like there'll be there'll be there'll be games right where a ref will like at the beginning of the game like say at the beginning of the playoff game or beginning of a, a regular season game the announcers are will say oh it looks like the refs are gonna are calling this uh uh pretty tight or, or the refs are letting things go to me that's bullshit because it should be called the same no matter what the game shouldn't be called Oh, they're letting them play this time. They either should let them play or they should call it tight like all oh, like they normally do. It should be that across the regular season and it should be caught across the NBA. There shouldn't be any playoff fouls. There should a foul is a foul. Because you just get super you get situations where you got superstar calls and they're just getting calls for no damn reason. And then James Harden, he gets touched in the regular season and it's a foul. But then you get in the playoffs, you can slap him upside his head and ain't no, it's not a call. <laughs> He's not getting a call. To me, it's, it's, it's just stupid because <laughs> it's stupid. It can, it, like I'm, I'd slap that pull upside the head for <laughs> sure. And, and you wouldn't in the playoffs. You would not get a foul call. But if it's in the regular season, you might get ejected and miss ten games. And <laughs> like I said earlier, I'm only so excited or pissed <laughs> off about this because the freaking Bucks game that happened. We just lost by one point, and I swear there were so many calls that went the Bucks way that the, either the Kings didn't get it. And honestly, I'm just tired of Fox not getting calls, man. That's one of the most frustrating things of seeing him drive to the basket and not get calls, getting fouled and not get calls. And it's like, yo. And I gotta say to myself, can't wait till the Kings are older so they can get foul calls. That's bullshit. Just because you're a rookie doesn't mean you you should you shouldn't get calls. If you get fouled, you get fouled. You shouldn't have to earn getting. Yeah, you that's, that, imagine that. You shouldn't have to earn being in the NBA to get foul calls. Like you shouldn't have to put more time in the NBA to get calls. You earn getting into the NBA by getting drafted or getting signed. <laughs> Or you know, going to the D League. After that, you're in the NBA. Therefore, you're an NBA player. Therefore, you deserve a foul call. But no, you you gotta put in the time first before you get your the a regular season vet call. And all our whole team are like five year olds, so we're never gonna get those vet calls because <laughs> all of her whole team is young. All right, so I'm just gonna jump in here. Um. I do hate the whole superstar uh, bias towards like calling little ticky tacky things on superstars. And also I hate like the disparity of how they ref in the regular season versus how they ref in the postseason because it's different. And that's why I hate that whole <clears throat> playoff foul excuse that they say like, oh, that's a playoff foul. It's like, no call the game the same way you call it in the regular season exactly uh, because the playoffs is just an extension of that exactly if you 
if you ref a different game in the playoffs, then that's just, that's not how it works. You're a bad ref. But the thing that I was, I kind of disagree with is the idea of how you're saying um, if they're if they're refing the game and they're calling it tight versus if they're calling it what'd you say soft? I don't know. Like I calling it a soft game. I think I, you know they're letting them play. Yeah, like like if they're letting them play, or if they're kind of calling it tight, right? Mm -hmm. I think that has to do like with the individual ref or refs in the individual game specifics. Like I like to think about it with like a baseball umpire, mm -hmm. you know, like not every single ump has the same exact strike zone. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they yeah, yeah. all have their own like different way that they see it, which I think all refs have their own way of seeing. Like maybe they think that's a foul where another ref thinks there's not enough contact or something like that. So I just think the teams have to adjust to how the ref is play or how the ref is calling the game, whether they're letting them play or whether they're calling a little bit tighter. Like you need to be, as a professional, you need to know how to adjust to that. Just like how in baseball, you got players who piss and moan about a strike zone, but in all reality, once you see the refs or the umps strike zone, you need to be able to adjust to that and be like, well, I'm getting paid $20 million uh, to <laughs> be able to read a strike zone. And if I, if the ref's calling like these low pitches strikes then maybe I should start swinging at him something like that so I just think for the way a ref calls a game it should be consistent throughout the whole thing but if they're calling it tight then you play a brand of basketball where <clears throat> you're playing a little more towards that kind of style where you know he's going to call a lot of fouls and then when they're calling and like letting them play then you play a more of like a bruiser type of thing but it should be consistent there and there should be no like bias towards if you have 10 years in the league versus if you're two years in the league basketball is basketball all the calls should be like the same throughout the game okay so i i, I do like what you're saying uh I, you brought up a good point the game to game thing i agree and there are times where they have to call it tightly because it's the game is getting a little too physical and guys are getting like getting chippy and they're starting to talk so like they use right. the, you know, use the fouls to kind of calm down the situation but like for example like we saw this a lot with demarcus but it was more prominent in guys well it was prominent with demarcus but it was prominent extremely big for like guys like dwight howard especially like shaq right shaq or Dwight or even DeMarcus would go up for, you know, to put the ball back in or a layup or a dunk. And they clearly would get fouled, like hard fouls, no calls. And they wouldn't get those calls because they're big guys. And the right. refs are refing those guys differently because they're big guys. To me, that's BS. If, to me, a foul is a foul. So if Shaq goes up to dunk the ball and someone hits his arm, it should be a foul. It shouldn't be, oh, he's a big guy. He can handle it. No, I I agree 100% with that. So, I, yeah, I, I I got you with that. And the umpire, the strike zone thing, that is that that is true. Um, and, and one thing, and it is when you have humans. Yeah. There's human error. There's, right, there's exactly. There's human error. But I'm just saying, these refs are trash. <laughs> Regardless, I, I get the whole human error thing, but they're trash. I'm just saying, <laughs> I literally saw Giannis push Bogey to the ground and they called a foul on Bogey. I just, that's it. Yeah, yeah. There's no Giannis slander on this podcast. I just, Never. I just got my, uh, my, I ordered NBA 2K19 for the Switch. It just came in today. I was definitely planning on playing it. Not happening tonight. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually kind of pissed. Like the refs, the refs were making Chris Middleton look like he was Katie out there. Oh God. He was out there hooping and getting all types of fouls. Hey y'all out there. If you like the content, please smash that like button and drop a comment. We want to hit, hear what you guys think. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
We got podcast episodes dropping two to three times a week. And we're going to start doing these specific videos and having feature content for the YouTube channel. So definitely thanks for tuning in. As always, stay unqualified, live uneducated.